All right, kids. I wanted to talk to you right quick about the latest uh, drama in FragCom because there's always drama in Frag. I, you know, I don't know how I feel about this community. Anyway, this is the latest one. This guy here is uh, Chris, the CEO. He boasts 424 thousand subscribers as you can see and he has become the new pet project of ode to jerks now if you don't know what ode to jerks is if you watch star trek like think of like the borg right they're out there they're in their borg ship and they're just they're ready to ruin stuff you know they don't like uh fragcom personalities they think they're all shills they're liars um a lot of them are we're gonna get to something about that here and now but so anyway, they're like the Borg. They're out there, you know? Then when the Borg finds you, now you, I guess you're screwed. I guess it's the best way to, to put that to you. So previously, Ross uh, was their their favorite target. And, you know, their hatred of him seemed to know no boundaries. Uh, and I don't quite get it. I've stated this a million times. I don't know what he does or did to anybody that garnered all of this. I just think a lot of times the Borg over there they just enjoy doing what they're doing there's no rhyme or reason no method to the madness in every scenario but sometimes there is and this one here i think there's a little validity to this so let's take a look so we just saw that chris the ceo has 424,000 subscribers and we are here in this particular video let's just push play we are celebrating his youtube silver play button that he received the coveted silver play button from youtube where you got a hundred thousand subscribers now this was from 11 days ago so either youtube is incredibly lackadaisical about getting these buttons out to people or in the 11 days that have elapsed since then and now chris the ceo has garnered 324,000 more subscribers and that is a possibility and i'm gonna explain to you why right now you see in chris the ceo's sub to interaction ratio his channel would theoretically be in the toilet if these numbers are real almost half a million people are sub to his channel yet on this video where he's celebrating a major accomplishment in youtube he has 33 likes 17 comments uh probably half of which are, are from him himself responding to people maybe not half but some and 385 views this is a chasmic failure okay i pointed this out about jeremy before too everybody's like oh he's the king of fragcom he's got two point whatever million you know uh subs and i'd say but look at his views he's being outclassed daily by curly fragrance by ashton right he's being crushed and so at a certain point your channel is either a failure but if it's on its ascension as chris the ceo's apparently is according to what's happening here well then it indicates that maybe somebody bought their subscribers and forgot to buy interactions now i'm going to show you why these numbers don't match up we're going to go to another guy's channel super cool guy probably the coolest guy you know fragcom's ever seen all right it's my channel but look I, i'm this isn't i'm not you know i was patting myself on the back for a second but i'm about to not do that now so this is my last video that i did 13 days ago this is for bad time charlie from happy land um i have 882 subs now in august i will have been in fragcom for two years uh, and i have failed to garner a thousand subscribers in that time you are a loser but all of my subs are mine i've never purchased any i never would purchase any and as we can see in a video that was released in about the same time frame i have 555 views 64 likes and 43 comments half of which are factually me because i make a habit of trying to respond to everybody who takes a minute out of their day to say something to me you know i'm not i'm a jerk but i'm not that much of a jerk you know actually i'm a consummate gentleman you know people probably think that about me they're probably like oh he's you know he's so sophisticated and debonair you know and and he's adorable on top of it swoon you know they say these things i imagine i haven't heard it but i just imagine that they do point is there is no world in which a channel with my subscriber base should be outperforming 
a channel that has almost half a million subs in interactions and you know likes and comments and views there is no world in which that should be occurring unless there's something rotten in Denmark as the old saying used to go I don't even know what that meant like what did what was Denmark doing that it was so rotten but that's what they used to say Look, and this is not new. There's another individual in this community. I'm not going to start throwing names around, but it's abundantly clear he bought. He's he's as boring as watching paint dry on a fucking wall. And it, it, it's clear he bought subs. And there was another girl that came in. And by no one, she was taking everybody to pound town. I think you know who I'm talking about. Her sub numbers and interactions were, there was a, such a disparity between what was happening and then it was mentioned out loud and suddenly her interactions, I guess somebody figured out how to buy interactions too. So what do I think about purchasing subs? I personally think it's kind of sad. I would never do it. I obviously didn't do it, but I never arrived here planning to be some sort of an influencer. In fact, the word influencer makes women, you won't understand this, but like my testicles start to shrink and try to hide inside myself when when I hear people go, well, I'm an influencer. Are you? You're, is that what you are? Anyway, I don't like that saying. I never wanted to be one. I just wanted to talk about these things that I'm doing and I wanted to learn how to make videos and I'm noticing right now this is off center and now I'm upset. You know what I mean? Now I'm upset. Maybe I should have noticed that before I uploaded the goddamn video. But I didn't. Anyway, you know what? I'm going to push pause on this because now I'm getting like all animated and stuff. Um, so purchasing subs at the outset, let's, let's frame it this way. If you were starting, if you're a tradesman, you were starting a new business, you have all the other businesses who operate in your trade that have existed. They have the, the years in business and the experience and all that kind of stuff. But you think, Hey man, I'm, I'm pretty damn good at what I do. Right. Um, I got to get out there, but I need people to know I'm out there. How do I do that? Well, you buy some advertising. That's how you would go about doing that. Um, you let people know like, hey, this guy's out there. Here's what he can offer you. Um, so in a way, in the beginning, buying subs could be viewed as buying advertising. You know, you're tricking the people who come looking for fragrance reviews into thinking, hey, this guy, look at this guy. This many people are watching him. Maybe I need to watch him too. So while I wouldn't do it, I kind of get it. But here comes the big that moment when you continue to do it and continue to do it and you forget that your sub to view ratio is chasmically disparate. Now it's getting kind of weird. Now you just seem like you have a mental issue um, and you have delusions about who you are. So, yeah. Uh, that's my thoughts on this whole thing. You know, if you feel like you got to do it to get a head start, okay, I guess it's passable. If you keep doing it, if you celebrate yourself, like when you're at the point where you're like, hey, I'm celebrating, I got my 5,000 subs, but we're watching and like 17 people are watching your video. Did you really get 5,000 subs? I don't think you did. So don't celebrate yourself. Don't get upset when people notice it. Use it as an advertising springboard. But remember to buy the interactions too, I guess is my advice to these guys. I don't know, or just don't do it. You know how, go outside, go outside, go talk to real people, have a cocktail or two. Sometimes I have maybe more than I should when I go out on these nights, but you know, eat a meal, talk to a girl, do something. Talk to a guy if that's your get down. I'm just saying, this is all so silly. I really don't, you know, if I was gonna come in, this is, okay, here's my final, now I'm getting upset. Here's my final thoughts on the matter. If you're gonna come into YouTube and you're gonna buy subs and try to become some big goddamn thing, what the fuck are you doing in Fragcom? What's the most that's gonna happen for you here? You're gonna get free bottles? That's the best thing that's gonna happen. You know, I don't, go, I watch these other podcasts, you know, you see these streams going on in Fragcom, there's like, oh, we have like 80 people tonight, or we have like 100 and whatever people tonight. These other channels, have you any, am I the only one that looks at other channels? 
and I see that there's tens of thousands of people watching live streams and the goddamn super chats are coming in like a waterfall. Am I the only one that sees this? They, if you're gonna do this, don't do it in FragCom. Be in FragCom because you really enjoy fragrances and you just want to talk about them. But buying 400,000 subs, what the fuck are you thinking about? I'm done. I gotta go.